Des destiny means nothing here. It's all just all about what happens in this moment. And so much and, uh, legend diversity wow. today in, in the Autumn Championship for EU, because now we have Acno and Diana what against is this? Fate from Machete. Okay, everybody's switching it up now, because Acno, it blows my mind that Acno's not playing Ragnar. He did so well with it in and the Summer Championship. It makes and, a little and, sense And Axe has only gotten better since the last That's one. That's true. And, Three, two, and Katars one, are still one. really great, and it just doesn't make sense to me. But Akno, he knows what he's doing. This might be a counterpick specifically for Machete. I'm not sure how much Diana he's played throughout this tournament. Oh. Um, but Machete's playing his Scythe, which has always been his main weapon. Yeah, Machete um, and Mordex he, is like... Yeah, it's usually Mordex, but he's playing Fate right now, which still has an amazing signature kit along with the Scythe that he's so comfortable with. I want to say that Machete is going to do super well throughout this match, no problem. Um, but Akno's the big wild card here, cause, because what you know, what's... What's he going to do differently? Is, is this is such a big departure from the legends we usually see Akno playing. I mean, so far his blasters look really solid, and now switching over the bow, we're going to see how that plays as well. But, oh, nice dodge down. A little bit too late on the cider from Machete. Mako fixes the blasters again. And just surprise! Oh, that Sides signature it. is, like, number one surprising signature in the game. Yeah, it reaches so far. It's very quick. And it's, yeah, and it's quick. Diana it leaves blasters. you very vulnerable afterwards. You got to be pretty precise with it, but Akno managed. Got the lead against Machete. Machete looking to equalize here. He's not far from it. Whiffs the down air. He's got the orb now. Works out just fine. Akno still can make it back. Ooh, nice patience on that down air. Ah. That recovery, that was so... That was so much knockback. That was like <laughs> great. I was like, because he bounced off Shipwreck, too. Like the recovery didn't just send him top yeah, left. And it's still got the KO. It destroyed him. A lot of damage. All right. Damage completely evened up now. Ooh, wow. Mind games on top of mind games to follow up between these two players. But should they have the right call there? Yeah. That almost, that almost works. That seemed like such a shot in the dark, but he he seemed to know what Akno's trying to do. Or how Akno's gonna react out of hit stun. Off the side once again. Will Machete get the edge guard? He looks like he's going out there for it, but he just drifts back to the side and, and lets Akno touch the wall. I think he'd rather play on the stage than he would uh, going way off like that. Oh, nicely done with the weapon. Tossed it like he lobbed it upwards to force Akno to go on the ground and then put up the down suit to catch Akno if he went for the landing. So Akno had to either get hit by the weapon toss yeah. or just die. I think either one would have led to certain death. Great edge guard. That's the best. But oh no, that's that's the Diana signature. Oh, just that I think that's good. It. He got him. Well played. Just like an orange. He caught it in just the right position, right? Mm -hmm. Any further on the stage, and it would have just bounced off the stage, and wouldn't even been close to a KO. But without the bottom of the stage in the way, it's a sweet, it's a sweet hit off of it, and damage is completely equalized oh, once two again. Two in a row. Two down sigs, active input off the side of the stage. Machete is going to go for that landing again. Oh, no, ground pound. Uh oh, oh Akno went deep Ooh. for that one. Recovery afterwards. Dangerous game He's being played not. off stage. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's the best signature you can get in that position. Oh, oh, oh ground pound. I thought he was going to ground pound. Oh, man. Oh, and he used his recovery and stuff. He has nothing left. Oh, Machete didn't goodness. go high enough. Oh, <laughs> my they're goodness. Again. They're just trying to end these stocks super early. And they're just, they're just the last that part of the edge guard is just failing every time. The big hitbox, the big uh, <gasps> blast zone once again saves Akno. He's the recovery early. Has his dodge still. Weapon toss goes straight down. Machete trying to punch him away. Oh, or picked up. Happen? Down here puts him off the side of the stage. Akno down lights away from Machete's Oh! Oh! Wow. That angle was... Because he gravity canceled it. Uh -huh. Had he not gravity canceled it, it just he would have bounced off the floor. Yeah. It raised him up just enough to carry him over the side. Wow, that was beautiful. What a nice play by Akno. Are they sticking to the same legends? I think so. They got into stage like so quickly. There's no way they had chance. They even had a chance to oh, change. Oh, no. Machete went to the, the, to the Zol. Oh, that we saw okay. From well, last we do see him. Yeah, he, do, he has played a lot of Zol in the past. So, Although I remember... He, he made his grand finals run only playing Zol all the way up into grands. And then it was Akno with the Ragnar that forced Machete to switch from the Zol and try to find a different answer. Three, so two, it's interesting one, to me four. that game two, which potentially could be Machete's last game of the right, tournament, right. that he went to that, that character pick so quickly. But maybe it's just something that he's got against, the, uh, against Akno Diana. It was so close to game number one. I'm very excited for this Machete. Takes a little bit of damage. Downlane the neutral light. Ooh, goes for the 
Gravity can't centralize pivot. Oh, Akno! As as great as Machete is at so, I feel like his specialty is the scythe. Oh. And without a scythe, I don't know if he's going to be able to keep up with Akno. Akno is just completely on top of Machete he everywhere is, that he yeah, goes. He's dismantling him. Oh, downlight neutral again. Oh! Oh, oh he bite. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he hardly even got hurt on that stock. Man. 30 seconds in, and Agno is destroying Machete. Yeah, this is, uh, it's looking quite brutal. Machete now, he's we're bringing, playing on He's arms. starting to bring it back here. That's a big deal, because it's uh oh, it's, uh, ooh, ooh, wow, Agno went big. Agno went, big. went as big as you could go. And, you know, I agree with the play. I mean, in an alternate timeline where the frames were just a few bit, few frames back, yeah. he would have landed that. And, Ooh. you know, the, the bow ground pound is the most powerful, has the, has the most fixed force, right? So, like, the most powerful at low amounts of health, right. at, at low damage. Um, had he landed that, he might have been able to get a gimp at, at what was basically white. It's just so crazy, though, because of that play, Machete's now in the lead. Yeah, like that, that was like that a happens, really that happens so quick. Oh, ground pound on stage in the neutral light, tosses the can up, forcing the dodge down. That stair would have taken off his head for sure. Falling side air puts a little bit more damage on the machete. Oh, what? what? Say, I don't need a Diana side. Unafraid, yeah, he basically Diana side, <laughs> but with a dash haymaker. All right, machete now oh, in the lead, and Agno quickly enough? answers back. I'm so surprised that wasn't enough. That was. That was the perfect move to do in that situation. That's as good as it gets. I swear he's gonna go he even, right down to he even caught the down light up on the platform, so he was higher than the floor, and it wasn't enough. My goodness. Off the side, it's still not enough to get the KO. I thought he was going to kick him for a second, but he doesn't. Dodge perfect dodge, and he gets the KO. Oh, man, that was nice. Double what a recovery. spot dodge. Yeah. Akino's reactions are super, super quick. But still a game that's in Machete's favor after that uh, surprising second stock. It's anybody's damage. game here. It's anybody's game. Akno, of course, just needs one more oh, to win it. Akno is sniping Machete out with his neutral light. <laughs> his and, bow and, is looking nice. And he, ooh, man, that ground pound came so <laughs> close. That would have just been it. His dodge was gone. All right, down light misses. Down light neutral light tags on a little bit more of Machete. Dodge straight up, but Akno can't find the side light to get that nice bow string afterwards, and the neutral light puts Akno super far off. Sider, go back onto the stage. Ground pound at the top hits. Down into ground pound does not work out, and Machete gets his own. Can Akno uh, make it back? Oh, weapon toss perfect does it. weapon toss, and Machete ties up the set. One to one. Damage. Next game win. Deficit. Still a game win, because as much as Akno was in the lead, it was off of some very precise, like, I, I got this read, I got this read, it led to a death. Yeah. It wasn't like he was styling so hard on Machete that it was just like there's there's a, a skill differential that's like, okay, I can lose that stock and it doesn't mean anything. Machete took full advantage of the even game that Akno provided to him and won that. Now going into game number three, Akno staying on the Diana, Machete on Zol. And we're going back to the same stage as well. Oh, so this man. is a total run back here. I guess Akno feels like I can still win this. Uh, I'm surprised he left this map open after losing on it, but... I don't think he blames the map, you know? He just has to play it differently. It was it was super close. Machete having a nice start on the cannon. Nair dodge out of the place. Nice job with that neutral light. Misses the Sarah, but because the dodge was gone, gets the neutral light afterwards. And a, ooh, oh, good job. Sometimes I'm I, I'm used to seeing like a... Oh, oh we, we got him! It's the, the place. spot dodge counter, big time! One more, and Akno gets the KO. Nice play. Same star as last game. Let's see if Akno mm, can hold on to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We can't even we can't even get excited about a lead like this when Machete's on the field, man. He 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 equalized that real quick last time. Let's see how he can manage this time. The pressure's on though because it's Ooh. over. It's over for him if he loses. <gasps> oh, oh, so oh wow! Is it gonna happen again? That nearly led into a KO. Akno is lucky to be alive. And he, he hasn't dealt that much damage on this stock yet either. Machete is doing a great job. Oh, that stair hits. Not powerful enough. Goes for the oh. ground pound again. What? Oh, oh, Machete. Can oh, he get the ground pound? He does. Man. Goes for the downer. Okay, 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 okay. I'm fine with that over him potentially losing that stock at yellow. Like, And that stair. Oh, wow. He's wow. alive. But he's not going to be able to play around with his recovery very much. Oh, but he makes it. Touches the wall before the weapon throw hits him. And he is back on the stage. Even dealing some damage to Machete all along the way. This is great for Akno. Jumps over the weapon. And he gets the recovery attack. Building up the damage even further. Unarmed oh, against Machete. What? And wow. Axe that, side sync? <laughs> that sometimes hit really just, hard. Sometimes you just got to do it, right? Like, Yeah. 
I, when that it comes to Zol's side sinks, I would favor the cannon more than the axe, but some. Oh man, Machete! Sometimes just putting out a move that's unexpected is enough. We saw how that's well right. it worked. Down air, side. Oh, down air, side light. <gasps> That cider from Akno. Oh, he's going to be able to cider his way back to the stage. Oh, oh wow. And he gets oh, damaged. Akno nearly got the KO there. It was, it was in his hands. And a slight miscalculation in timing allows Machete to stay alive. It was a perfect move by Machete. I mean, he waited oh. as long as he could. Akno gets the KO, the slide kick, gravity cancel, neutral sick, and this is it. Machete's. Final stock of the match, potentially of the entire tournament, if Akno wins this right now. Waits up the down light. Nice recovery. Picks up the axe. Gets punished oh. down into Cider. That's Sarah sends Akno flying. Ground pound? No. He goes what? for the Sarah instead. And oh, that air from Akno goodness. pivoted too. Man, he, and he's still alive. Yeah, Machete's hitting the stairs. In. The wrong sides. Oh! oh. Okay, boys, that down light. Whoa. Ground, oh, ground pound. Just ended it. That was smart. That was smart for him to take the weapon. That was a surprising way to, to to attack after immediately picking up the weapon. Okay. It's looking oh, better Machete. and better for Akno as Machete is like in trouble. He wants the axe. He could tell he he threw that cannon away. Okay, here we go. He's waiting. He's like waiting for a dash to Akno. Yeah, and he got okay. it. Jump cider, that's the way to do it. Down to their final stocks, both of them. Final stocks Machete of the match. Not quite red yet. That's like okay now he is. It was like it was like the deepest orange that you could possibly be. We've, right. I mean, we've seen Machete come back from damage deficits like this. It, it just Ooh. wasn't the last stock of the match. Oh, he dodged his man in the air. No nares. And now, now that Akno is desperate for the KO, Machete kind of has a good idea of what Akno wants to do next. Oh, Akno unarmed now. He's going to take a gravity cancel down like neutral. Oh, my that. goodness. Silas is Machete there. about to come Whoa. back? Oh, oh man. Akno's got to be worried. Akno's got to be worried right now. Oh, he's going the neutral air. Drops, picks up the bow, oh, down by side stick. Anything is possible. It's here. anyone's game. Machete, he rearms with the cannon. This could be it for Akno. Oh, Akno uh, has to go back to the stage. Is he going to go for another one of those dash down lights? Oh, this is I so don't think cannon's there. Oh, he jumps it. on. That was a very courageous recovery from Akno, stealing the game away from Machete as Machete was really on his way back. He was a full Ooh. stock down. He brought it all the way back to the final hit. And in the end, Akno. Snatches it back. Sets between those two are insane. That it was is, great. It's it's like I'm like kind of upset that it like happened at that point. I know because that, that was grand finals a few uh, months ago, yeah. right? <laughs> and it was it was it was quite the grand finals too. But I mean, we still have so many great players to watch as we see coming up to bat now is Heisen versus. Dodgers.